not gonna joke around this time. Um, yeah, uh, uh, what can I uh, say? I got my moving Power Ranger costume. It's on the back of my chair at the moment, but I am going to put it away. I can't really wear it around in public when there's idiots about. So I can't really feel myself wearing the costume. So typical that you can't trust them around children because of the safety and that. Anyway, never mind you rumbling on. Uh, oh, if you want me to wear the uh, Red Ranger costume, I'd be uh, happy if um, you ask me in the response, please ask politely. And uh, if enough people ask me, at least five people uh, ask me if, if it's alright if you could wear the costume. I might do that on YouTube, but it'll have to be around about near Halloween, so, you know, uh, if I do wear it, so, it'll be that type of time, and, uh, yeah, okay, um, as you know, I, uh, had a camera, and, uh, put an SD in, and I couldn't be filming, I didn't film. So, let's show you some of my games. I uh, the Met Gear Rising again. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna show the Met Gear Rising. I did originally plan to do it, but my phone was, and it was too shaky to do it, so, um, because I had all the camera, um, uh, actually see me doing it. I actually tried to do it with the ET Blu-ray steel tin, but couldn't get around it. Meg, uh, Meg Gear Ryzen, the tin, um, this is what it really looks like, um, it's got a picture of raining from... I guess the first, the first version of Metal Gear Solid, and they show him. I think he's in the first one. Nah, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, zoom in, zoom in. Right, um, yeah, the reflection. It's really reflected uh, thing, and on the back it's got this on. Uh, it's got this. I believe is uh, ninja, and then warrior or something. I'm not exactly sure. I forgot now what it means, so I could be wrong. So yeah, um, and uh, as like a sort of, it's kind of a cute little symbol. There. It's got a fox, I believe. Is it like a sort of Kojima fox thing? That's the makers of me uh, thing. Yeah, and Plantium Games. If you can see that on the bottom, they also did Bayonetta. So, yeah, it is actually a good game. As, uh, as I take out the instruction book, uh, this is the uh, instruction book. Uh, I can show you the manual if you want. I'm sure a lot of people have done this when they unboxed it. Anyway, it's pretty much uh, like a colour manual. You know, it's got colour on it. Pretty much, I, I haven't noticed anything other than the white Xbox. Seriously, people play on the uh, white version of the Xbox 360, did they? Wow, you must be nice people to say that the Xbox 360 was a good console, you know? Because um, it is pretty cool, but, you know, PlayStation is where you should really play this game because, um, it, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I just wish they put this out on the Wii U. I could just imagine that Nintendo saying, yeah, we'll want this on the Wii U. Um, it would have been cool if Metal Gear Rising came out on the Wii U. I'm not joking. It's called Metal Gear Rising Revengeance or something. Um, you might actually see the rightness. You might not see it exactly right, correctly, because my camera is kind of, it's like mirrored. <laughs> so you might actually see it backwards. Uh, as we go in, 
you got this. Um, this is from the. It shows the PS1. For some reason, they're using the 360 technology and the PS3 technology to um, make this more modern. Um, it's Ninja from the. I think it's uh, Player Cyborg Ninja. Yeah, Cyborg Ninja. Um, he's pretty cool. You know, I like this character. Don't worry, if I flash my codes, I probably have used them. Yeah, Sena, I probably have used them by now. And it comes with every version, I believe, so this might have been a limited edition one, but it came free with, you know, a thing to try and get people to promote. Now, the two things you're going to find in here. Well, I put this disc in here because I didn't want to use my own rig case, because, um... I am a little worried of it getting scratched, but I mean, it's nothing to be worried about. And as for this, this is like the Inferno, Inferno. don't worry about the codes if I show them, uh, it's been used anyway. It's a Fernal Armor, see I've used them, so it doesn't matter. And I just showed the codes because I used them. Um, so this is the Fernal Armor, and as you can see, I, I've scratched this up, so you, it doesn't matter anyway, so nobody can act this. Um, it comes with these codes here, and what it is, it's uh, a custom body Eferno armor. I didn't realize, but, um, but B, is it BT, um, I can't think of his name, uh, on YouTube, he's Welsh, I think. Um, you may want to check his videos too. Um, he mentioned that there was a green one that, that he had instead of a red one. I don't know why that is, because maybe it's a different limit edition one he got. But, uh, yeah. Um, yes, I am Welsh. I live in Wales, but further away from the people who talk it. <laughs> well, this is the disc. I took the disc out, pretty much is shiny, but I don't want to show it off too quickly because I might scratch the disc or something. Um, it's got like a pixelated PS1 graphics for the first Meta Gear, uh, for the first Meta Gear game. Um, it's Raiden from the first game. So yes, yeah, so that's pretty much what I have for Meta Gear Ryzen, so that's my review out of the way. Oh, by the way, you can actually go like this and just see the full image. Um, yeah. I do have the original case, but I'll have to show you it. Um, it has no game in this, and it has no background, so it's just something you can't expect to have on the, uh, case, you know. So I'm gonna put this neat, nicely neat now, which I probably just ram it in there. So yeah, I've used that code. I think I used this one, but yeah, don't worry if I show them. It doesn't matter anyway, you use them. It's not usable after you use it once. Well, um, I think. And you scratch off the ones. Uh, well, that's a nice uh, tin. That's when I had for pre ordering, but I put the disc in, game disc in there. To make it look realistic, just like I did with Final Fantasy 13 too. Um, and uh, I believe I got this. Oh shoot! Oh, I really need to tidy up my room. Uh, this is the actual game case that I originally had it in, and. Uh, I don't know, I just picture the steel tin. I mean, I do like this, you know, it shows Raiden being totally um, a badass, if you want to call it that. Or ass, if you live in the UK. <laughs> uh, ass, I'd be with the ASS one. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, this uh, Raiden chopping through some sort of body and slicing them up. Um, it's kind of violent. I wouldn't recommend this towards kids, you know. Um, but then all Metal Gear Solid games are violent, so I can understand. Um, yeah, and then there's this on the back. Um, it says Carrot Will, but it, on the back it may 
may say it differently because it's backwards, it's mirrored. Um, so yeah, uh, Cutted Will, Met Gear, Rising Revengeance is a stunning epic action. Sorry, I nearly have my words wrong. Epic action game set in Met Gear Solid Universe. You take control of Raiden, a cyborg armed with a high frequency blade which can cut through virtually anything. Feel the power of 360 degree blade control and experience a new kind of Metal Gear game. It also comes with the, um, uh, book that, and, well, yeah, two, um, costs. Uh, it, it came. It can't be played really for a game like this. Bad language, uh, violence, uh, not to be supplied to anyone below that age, so it's 18. Uh, it's got the European 18, not the UK um, age rating. Don't know why that is. Maybe UK didn't want to rate it. Oh well, we'll go sick and tired of rating. Uh, yep. Um, like I said, uh, if you want to see me wear different costumes, let me know. Um, and write nice comments. There gotta be five comments that, that say, "Please, can you wear those costumes?" Because I always, I, I can't put them on YouTube if people are going to hate on them. So that's why I'm not risking any chances. Sorry, but it's just the way it has to be. Oh well. Sign off for now. Hope to see you very soon.